First, open Heidi SQL. Enter in the server IP address or hostname. The default IP address is typically 10.7.0.1, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I will be using a hostname. Continue to type in the username and password, the username being root and password Jacques, all lowercase. Click open or connect. Expand the state DB section on the left. Select device state and choose the data tab in the main window. Here you will see a list of all the devices on the network. Identify the device you would like to add the static IP address to. Take note of the device's current IP address. Open PuTTY and type in the server IP address or hostname. Log into the server with the username root and password Jacques or lowercase. As I am not directly connected to the gem device, I need to go through the ssh command. Type in the following. Ensuring that the last section you type in is the current IP address of the device. Press enter. Now type in the password Jacques. Press enter. We can see now that we are talking directly to the GEM3 device. Now to set the server IP address, type in the following. Ensuring that the last section is the server IP address. Press enter. Now to change the device's IP address to static, type in the following. Ensuring that the last section is the correct IP address you would like to change the device to. Press enter. Now open Heidi SQL. Navigate to the device state section to check that the device is now offline. Navigate to the tag device. The U name is the descriptor in which the server will recognize the device by. The U value is the device's unique identification determined by the U name. Change the U name to IP and the U value to the changed IP address. Open any internet browser and type in the server IP address or hostname into the address bar. Navigate to the Applications tab and click Restart. Now go back to Heidi SQL and click Refresh. You'll see the devices online with the changed IP address.